Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Boom, we in. Um, in the nature and power of Allah, the master of spiritual insight and perceivable of all truths. I rise to give all praise to you, Allah. I'm here with Anka God, Killer Man. Yo, Pete. Yo, man, talk to him. Tell him what you about, what you're doing, G. Hey, I'm just wanting to really keep the community re interested in science and technology. I think that is the salvation for us, man. You know, whenever a nation loses their science and technology and the ability to protect yourself, yo, they fall every time, yo. So the religious aspect of it, yo, that's something else. The science and technology, yo, is what what it's really about in the natural world anyway. So science and technology you saying is the solution. Yep, absolutely. I I agree with that also, you know what I'm saying? Science is the uh the method of acquiring information and you know using experimentation in order to match theories with conclusions in order to view them or regard them as conclusive fact. And so, you know, dealing with that, um, scientifically, you know, while we dealing with um, our problems which are moral, social, economic, political, legal. That's um, all science, because writing is science. Yeah. Documentation, paperwork, that's why I respect y'all. When y'all trying to go on that, right? That's science. You know, you, you beat the white man, right? Then he come back and write a treaty. You know what I'm saying? To take your land treaty. But go ahead, though. Yeah, um... You know, one of the things that are really taught on or really um spoken of a lot is, you know, are the laws and how they're instituted and how certain laws don't apply to certain people. And, you know, I want to just point out that, you know, the legislative branch of government or the actual people who are legislative are actually formed of the... Uh, Registered voters in a society or in this American society who come together and they choose for themselves representatives. These representatives, they make a consortium and a quorum of them begin to uh, accept and pass certain laws, bills, legislation, etc. that affect the uh, construct that we currently in. So that being said. What is your take on the science of politics and the application of political science as well as the various social sciences which is how we interact and correlate with one another in order to bring about a legal or political uh, solution or relief to us? I, I mean, according to the life I lived in America, right, you know, they consider me a criminal. You know, my shit this long, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't never participated in none of that. Thing. Feel me? So, so I, I leave that up to you, young know, you know what I'm saying, to get the people moving in the right direction as far as all the and stuff like that. It can be a powerful tool if you use right. If, but you gotta understand it. You, you, right. you, fig, you figure that most black people, I don't even wanna say black people, just people in general, right, right. don't understand that process. You know what I'm saying? And so we start the question, well, is the process fair? Are they counting the information right? When you vote, I mean, how's all that going? Right. So there's a lot of questions with them. Uh, uh, system. Then not to mention what they call the, um, the, the popular vote. Um, and what's it called, man? When you vote. The oh, vote. Oh, no. vote primary? No, no, no. When you actually vote, but, but your vote don't actually immediately count. Yeah, popular. You no, know, you get a person to take it and, 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 and cash your vote for you. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, that's when, that's yeah. when, um, that's the, that's the popular vote as you opposed help to the vote what do they call it? They elect people to actually take the, the electors. Votes. The, le the electoral vote. The electoral vote. Right. The electoral right. college. The electoral college. So we understand, right, that, that the election that they snatched away, right, really the, the, the people voted for a particular person, right? Those electors. But the electoral college didn't. Right? So it's a lot of times that's stuff like that people don't understand. Right. You need to get the book voting for dummies. They'll be understand that. Go ahead. I was going to say that the popular vote is supposed to be representative of the people's uh, uh, I mean, not, I, not, I, I want to say their position in the political affairs of the country at that time as, a, as opposed to, you know, when we're looking at the senators and uh, the electoral college, which are people who are actually elected to represent the majority of those people. So now the majority of those people being uh, represented by the electoral college are the people who then in turn vote with the best interest of the people who voted for them in mind. So now the best way to ensure that the voting process is actually done properly is that our people are back here counting the votes. Our people are the ones voting. Our people are the ones who are actually running for electorate. And then we become the electors. And then we know 
who it is that's going to be voted in, just like the Europeans know who it is that is going to get voted in, because they already know this Democrat is going to vote for this Democrat, this Republican is going to vote for this Republican. We have this one with this, uh, with this set of rules, or this a paradigm on how things should be ran, and then they have a separate one, so also it seems to be the choice. But in reality, the only choice that we have is the one that we place for ourselves if we continue to learn the sciences of politics, the science of social, uh, society. That's called political science. That's it. Yep. Yep. Running the government. Okay. Oh, one more question, if we can. So, you know, I got to ask you scientifically, what's your nationality? I'm, I'm just a person. I'm a person of nature. I'm just not. I'm not a person. And while I'm here in America, I'm an African American. You know? Now, and I ain't got a problem with that. Because the African American got the largest motherfucking army on the planet, nigga. Understand that. You got used to that. You feel me? Hold on. You feel me, though, right? Yeah, I know. He might say, that sound crazy. Nah, that ain't really crazy, nigga. I know what you're talking about. But at the end of the day, nigga, it's about that army, yo. But here's what I'm saying, though. You only own what you can protect. Huh? You only own what you can protect. That's right. Scientifically, though. What's my nationality? I'm now, a Moor, yo. Okay, now. I'm a Moor. Now, 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 <laughs> now, 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 like a Moor, nigga. Now, 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 that's, now, what? Now, that's, now, that's cool to say, but now the thing I'm is. I'm telling you. No, no, no. But check me out, God, because a lot of Moors say that they Moors. Oh, uh, they all they got is. So here's what I'm saying. Go ahead. Something that a Moor would do is study political science. I'm saying, so this is what I, but I do also. And so I would like to. If, if we can in the future, you and I build on uh, continuing the studies in a, a as a collective or as a unit, putting these political sciences in a in a in a form where we can understand them, and then again and disseminating the information to the masses. Because although I mean a lot of this is entertainment, and entertainment is cool, but I, I'm not I'm not really trying to entertain you. Like if, like I got you on the camera, I'm really here. I really want to teach. I really want to learn. There's things that I can learn from you and vice versa. And I definitely want to be able to use these lessons co coherently and cohesively so that not just these people can understand but the people walking down 125th can understand because guess what we can take Harlem back with a vote we can take the Harlem mark back with a vote you know what I'm saying but if we're not voting then what's the next way we can do it let's find that out and then do that if we're not gonna vote if we're not gonna do that then let's go if we're not gonna run up in the building with guns and say yo right now we're holding down this building and not expect to get bombed unless we're gonna have unless unless we're gonna have some type of anti-air you know what i'm saying or unless you're gonna establish a treaty or unless you're gonna establish a agreement with another country or another nation or another people that say yo i'm gonna be here with you you know what I'm saying? So you put that, you finish with that. Nah, it's still recorded. But yeah, so basically, you know that that's where I'm at. That's what I'm at. You know, I'm in New York all the time. Yo, we gonna build, yo. That's what it is. You next right. time in New York? For sure. Uh, I'm not, I'm trying to figure it out, yo. I'm, I, you gonna find me? I don't know how you do it. Yeah, hey, we, we gonna yeah. find each other. All right. Cause God got that, you know that 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 magnetic We gonna change out. We gonna do that. All right. All right. Peace, y'all.